Hi. Okay. So, um, the other day I went to a uh, I went to a sex museum. Um, and no, that's not my first time going to a sex museum. I have a cooler life than you deal with it. Um, anyway, I went to a sex museum, and I saw a product for sale in the gift shop. Now, the product that I saw for sale, I saw in a uh, in a documentary that I was watching with my girlfriend um, about um, manliness and men's grooming techniques and all that. It was called Mansome. It's uh, actually pretty good. It's by uh, Morgan Spurlock, the guy that did Super Size Me. So anyway, I saw this product, and it was called Fresh Balls. Um, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a cream that you put on your ball sack and it's supposed to keep your balls fresh and dry and nice. Now, um, you know, when I saw it, it was like, ha ha ha, look at that, I saw this uh, product from the uh, from the movie that I was just watching. That's kind of funny, I should buy it. And it was fourteen ninety five, which is fucking expensive for anything, but, um, well, maybe not for, like, nuclear warheads or, like, you know, I don't know, Super Bowl tickets, but it's expensive for cream and a little fucking tube, to me, anyway. So, um, so I was like, "Fuck it, I'll buy it. It's funny." So I bought it, and and this is it right here. This is this is fresh balls. It, it's really called that. Um, yeah, fresh balls. Uh, says so fresh, so dry. It it, it makes few promises, but uh, those are the promises it makes. Um, so you know, again, I I bought it as a joke, but I wasn't gonna buy something for fourteen ninety five and not actually put it on my nutsack. So, um, so you know, I, I you know, I got home and I, you know, I took a shower and I, I sang in the shower and I did all the things people do in the shower and I brushed my teeth and, you know, I washed my ass crack and I did all those things, and then when I toweled my my sexy body off, I got this fresh balls out and I said, all right, I'd already put my deodorant on and you know my, my cocoa butter oil because I put cocoa butter oil on because I'm a black person and we're really into cocoa butter. And I, I specifically didn't cocoa butter my junk. I didn't cocoa butter my ball sack because I knew I was going to put my new cream on it. I wanted to try it out. And let me tell you something. This motherfucking shit right here, this shit right here, is fucking amazing. It is not a novelty gift. It is not a novelty purchase, whatever you want to call it. This shit works. I'm a sweaty motherfucker. All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna lay that out on the table. All right, I've always been sweaty. All right, I'm gonna always be sweaty. It just kind of is what it is. All right, I'm sweating right now. I'm not doing a good goddamn thing. It's the middle middle of the winter. It's December 27th. I'm sweating. I'm sweating in my room. There's no heat on right now. I'm I'm sweating. I'm sweating profusely. It's horrible. Um, but this stuff. Wow. Like I was just I was just very impressed with the product, and I I, I felt the need to share. Um, it just, you know, it makes your balls not stick to your leg, which is a thing, if you don't know, if you have a, a labia and a vulva out there, whoever's watching this, um, you know, balls stick to legs, it just, they just do, um, and this prevents that, it keeps them fresh, it keeps them dry, and I'm really kind of upset about it, because now I have to buy $14 ball cream when I run out of my fucking fresh balls, um, I'm not being paid to do this, I'm not being made to do this by the, the Fresh Balls Corporation or whatever. Um, it's just really fucking good, and I just wanted to share this with everybody I knew that had balls so they could try it on their ball sack. So, um, one more interesting note, uh, I mean, that's pretty much all I had to say, but the one thing about Fresh Balls is, for some reason, I, I couldn't put my finger on it, but something about the, uh, the container, the, the tube, was kind of, uh, familiar to me. It's kind of familiar to me. And I didn't know why, but it just felt like it, it was at home in my room. And I really didn't understand why. And then I remembered something. See, I used to work at a, a little shoe store called Aldo. And this is what they keep their uh, shoe polish in. And I've got like 20 of these floating around my room, even though I worked at Aldo like almost a decade ago now. Um, no, not a decade ago, but pretty fucking long ago, like 2005 or something. So, you know, it was just kind of funny that, like, you know, they went with the uh, the Aldo shoe packaging, the shoe paste packaging for the Fresh Balls, and I guess it kind of, uh, maybe I was kind of predisposed to liking it to begin with on a, on a psychological level. I just thought that was interesting. But anyway, fuck this fucking Aldo shit. That's not the point. Fresh Balls. I'm not holding up the camera right. I'm sorry. Fresh Balls. This shit is great. If you can find it, in a store, or you, you get your hands on it, get your balls on it.